Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well. Today I'm doing a digital plan with me video using the app Colonote. So Colonote is a free note-taking app and we've mentioned it on the channel before. Recently it has added some new functionality that makes it even better for digital planning. So I'm going to do my September plan with me in Colonote as well as doing a tutorial slash review. So firstly, here is the home screen and if you tap on the three dots, you can create a new note and this will give you different paper types and templates. And I really love this feature. For this plan with me, I'm going to be using my digital planner that I created created myself. One of the new features that Colonote have added is the ability to use hyperlinks. So now you can just easily navigate through your planner using the hyperlinks embedded within your file and there is minimal lag. So I find this really a great option for digital planning. So the pen icon at the top gives you different colors and you can change the stroke size. And if you tap on more color, you can put in your hex code as well as use a dropper tool. And here you can quickly toggle between your favorite pens and to get rid of them, you can just long press and put them in the trash. I really like the writing experience in Colonote. I find that the pen has a kind of streamlining that makes it easier to write neater. With the pencil tool, you can also change the color as well as the size of your stroke. And I like that it looks very realistic, so I can imagine that it would be great for sketching. The highlighter tool allows you to change the opacity, which is really cool. And if you hold it down, it will snap straight as well. This scissors icon is like a lasso tool. You can just draw around the item that you want to move and then you can just move that around the page. The eraser feature is really advanced because you can pick between partial and whole and partial just lets you erase part of the stroke instead of the whole thing. The shapes tool allows you to draw shapes with the pen or the highlighter. So if you just draw the shape and let go, it will draw a perfect shape for you. And you can also tap on the highlighter and then tap on the shapes tool. And this will allow you to draw a shape with the highlighter. I haven't found a way to edit the shape after you've put it down. So if you make a mistake, you just have to undo and try again. Tapping on the text icon brings up this window, which I'm not a huge fan of. However, it does work with scribble, so you can just handwrite and it will turn into text. And then you can change the font. I have some custom fonts that I have installed on my iPad that I can use in GoodNotes. However, I don't see them here, so I don't believe you can currently import custom fonts. And you can also change the color as well. And then you can resize your text. You can also convert handwriting into text by lassoing it and then tap on this icon here and then long press with your finger and then tap on paste rich text. Then you can edit the text and change the font and color. The ruler is a nice feature and you can just move it around with your fingers and this will allow you to draw in a straight line. To insert an image, you can tap on the plus icon and insert a photo from your camera roll. You can also drag images from a side panel. So here I'm just opening up OneDrive and I can drag images from my cloud storage. So one thing that I don't like is that when I tap on the image icon, all the text and images become selected on the page. And if you're using the lasso tool at the time and you tap on the image icon, it's not intuitive how to select and resize your image. So you actually have to be in pen mode. And then if you tap on the image icon, this will allow you to resize and select your image. Now, one thing I like about the lasso tool is that you can lasso text and move this independently of the image. And then if you tap on move everything, you then move the image as well. And you can change the color of handwriting as well by lassoing everything and then tapping on the paintbrush icon. And here you can just change the color. So one thing I've noticed is that there can be some minor glitches from time to time. So I wrote in a word, came out of the app and went back in and now it's missing part of that word. But this is only minor and I haven't noticed any major data loss. This icon here allows you to draw with your finger. I don't use this feature much, but it's neat to have. There's also a bookmark feature. So if you zoom out, you can tap on bookmark and enter a title for your bookmark. And this will allow you to easily jump between your bookmarked pages. With this icon here, you can record audio similar to the feature Notability. And then you can play this back. You can also record audio. You can also tap on the plus icon and find lots of cool stickers from inside the app. Unlike GoodNotes, there is no separate hyperlink mode. So you can be in edit mode and you can write and you can also tap to use the hyperlinks. Now, Colonote has a lot of great features for a free app. However, I think it can still make some improvements in the future. For example, if you tap on the thumbnails icon, you can long press on a page and you can duplicate and move it up and down once. However, you cannot copy a page and move it anywhere in the planner. So it's not quite as flexible. And I also don't see the option to copy a range of pages. So you will not be able to import a separate PDF file into your planner. You can insert a blank page anywhere in your planner and you can also long press on this page and change the paper or template, which is a really neat feature. The other minor thing that I didn't like is that you can't have a mix of portrait pages as well as landscape pages in your file. So here I have a planner file with a portrait cover. However, the rest of my pages are landscape, but when I tap into it, 
you can see the rest of my pages have become stretched into portrait mode, which looks pretty funky. One feature I really like is dark mode. So if you go into menu and turn on dark skin and dark mode, it then enters into dark mode. And when you write on it with a black pen, it then shows up in white. So you can toggle between the dark and light modes. Overall, I think Colornote is a great free app for digital planning and I highly recommend it if you don't want to use paid apps like GoodNotes and Notability. And I'm highly looking forward to new features that will be added in the future. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.